Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. And today's project is really simple and quick, putting together a birdcage planter. So for this project, I really only needed to purchase a plant. I already had the little container and this decorative bird cage. I love the bird on top, the distressed kind of blue-gray finish. My mom and I were actually out last year together at Michael's and purchased one of these. So we each got one that would be really fun to decorate with. So all I needed was to plant up this little container. I purchased this last year and planted it up with a petunia and I really love the way that project turned out. So this container I love the turquoise and copper look. It already has the attached saucer on the bottom. It's not very big, only a five inches across the top. So all I need to do is just plant it up. So the plant that I purchased for this project is this English Ivy. Really pretty, under $3 from my local Lowe's store. Not a lot of information on this tag. It does say it likes part sun. Um, so an English Ivy is an evergreen perennial. It does like part to full shade. Hardiness zones is four to nine. It likes to grow on structure, so it likes to climb. You can also use it as a ground cover at the base of a tree. It will grow up the tree. So pretty fast growing in certain conditions, but you can also use it as a house plant. My favorite part is the variegated leaves. You can see just the different shades of green. It has an outlining of this buttery yellow color. So really pretty. I purchased one for this size container, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it planted up. So I've already added some potting mix to this container and that's what you want to use, some container mix. You would not want to use any ground or garden soil in here. It would be too heavy. And then I've added in a small starter fertilizer by Spoma, Biotone Starter Plant Food. And, and now I'm just making a well here in the center, making room for the plant's root ball. So just using my hand and pressing that soil up against the edge of the container. Now when you remove the plant, from its nursery pot, just be careful. I like to weave my fingers in um, around the stems, kind of supporting the plant as I remove the pot. So the root system looks good. I'll just place it in here and then just press it lightly. I just wanna make sure that there is no kind of large air gaps or air spaces between the root ball and the soil. So just press it lightly, and then I'll just add in some extra soil around the plant, filling up the container, but you do want to leave a small gap at the top, just a small lip to where when you water it or as it rains, that it does not overflow the container and you have soil and water running over the sides. So just leave a little gap at the top. And that is pretty much all there is to it. So I think it looks really good. So I'm all planted up now. All I have to do is place it down in this bird cage. And it is super windy out here. Things blowing everywhere. But I'm gonna place this container down in here. And you want a bird cage like this one that has a nice big opening, a large door here on top. Cause some of these bird cages are sold with a little door in front. So you wanna be mindful of that when you are choosing a bird cage if you want to do a project like this. Now I'm just gonna work these vines, some of this ivy, these leaves, out the spaces on the top here of the bird cage. I think it's really pretty if this grows outside as well as inside. And now I just have to use this little latch here and close the top. And you can actually, um, if you're worried about an opening, use some wire or something to help support the latch. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my space and I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is all finished and I just have it sitting here just to show you really quickly what it looks like on my little rock edging wall here. And I think it turned out really pretty. I love that you can see through the bird cage. You can see the container, just the pretty colors. You can see the, you know, ivy just vining up here. And I think it's just really simple. And you can do so much with this project. Really, it has a lot of possibilities. You can do succulents, other houseplants, you can put it inside on a table because it has the flat bottom. Um, you can also use the ring on top to hang it from a hook, from a shepherd's hook. You can plant flowers in here. Just so many possibilities. 
So this is where I want to hang it on my mailbox hook. Now I really like to dress up this area all year long, all the different seasons, different holidays. I uh, did some lanterns on here dressed up for Christmas as well as for Thanksgiving. So a really fun way to decorate the entrance, you know, to my driveway. And I just think this project turned out really pretty. Now over time, if you wanted to, you can spray paint this birdcage, make it a different color if you want to, or plant it up with some different things. I really love the way this turned out and I'm hoping that this will continue to grow and those vines will start to cover the birdcage and I think that will look really neat so I hope you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any future updates I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye